Ian Meters. This is Telefua Farm. Well, we're delighted to have all these foreign guests getting a mixture of four lots on the farm too. So we'll get a report shortly what to think of them. Oh, it's a pleasure. I'll tell you what, it's a piece of history. And as a boy, I read about uh, Tully 4 and uh, just fabulous to be here. My name is Ron Sauter. I uh, ranch in Alberta, Canada. It's been a fantastic tour, seen some great cattle. I think Angus has a real place in this world. And then this place is exceptional. They have some great bulls, great females. It's just been a great time. Alison McPhee, I'm very pleased that the uh, forum has come to uh, Glenbervie Estate. My family have been farming here for some 700 years. As a family, uh, my mother inherited the estate, my father inherited the food business, so we put the two together in 1973. Good afternoon and welcome to Glenbervie. Some 25 years ago, we decided that we needed to move from a mixed herd of beef and dairy uh, to a premium uh, cattle. And looking around, what we were looking for is a breed that the consumers are familiar with that can give us a long-term premium value for. I'm John Lahore, farm manager at Glenbervie Home Farm. And speaking to, to chefs when we were starting out with the herd, it was inconsistent eating quality that was the problem. And we've set out to establish a herd of pedigree Aberdeen Angus to give us the most consistent eating quality beef that you can get, time and time and time again. What sets the Angus above all other breeds is the fact that you've got quality in the perfect package. 